Hi, and welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, I'm going to show you where you can find uh, project ideas as well as project that you can download and engrave or cut with your Nege Master machine as well as with any other uh, laser engraver. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, here we are on my screen. Uh, as you can see, I am on uh, Pinterest.com and um, here you can find uh, a large array of uh, uh, engraving projects as well as cutting. Um, obviously, not all of the project will uh, uh, suit your machine and that's because uh, each machine has its own limitation. Uh, for example, you can see this baseball bat uh, you won't be able to do it with uh, uh, most of the model from Nege. Uh, but, uh, you know, composite, uh, I mean, assembly type of uh, uh, projects or cutting and engravings project, that's something that you can pretty much do with the Nege uh, series of uh, laser engraving machine. Another site where you can find ideas is uh, Ponoco. And I'll put, by the way, all the link in the description below to the sites. Um, here you can see they have many uh, clocks ideas, but if you scroll down, you'll start finding something different, as you can see. Okay. Uh, and then there is uh, Instructable, and this is the place where uh, you can find uh, um, you can find and download projects that you can uh, basically engrave with your machine and as you can see there are uh, many uh, when you choose your what you want uh, you can simply open it up and when you open uh, you will find all the description and instruction from the creator um, the beauty of this is that uh, normally the creator is uh, um, posting uh, the file the project in multiple formats so that you can basically engrave with the different machines or any way to use it with different software um, okay let's see some other I had one open okay let's see for example this uh, box over here yeah you can see the pictures of it some instructions from the creator some dimensioning some parameter yeah as you can see here we got the .svg which is an Inkscape type of format. For this demonstration, I just want to show you real quick how you how you can uh, uh, easily download and set up your project. So I found this uh, cool uh, box, uh, which I will purposely uh, cut it to be bigger. So basically, the locking tongues, if that's the way I can call it, these dovetails, uh, they will basically be protruding so it, that's not uh, important for me uh, as you can see over here uh, the guy um, have posted the, the CDR which is uh, the Corel Draw uh, format SVG as well as DXF which is a CAD type of format the file is open in Inkscape 92 now the first thing to do uh, Control shift r this will resize the page to the content let's zoom in now, um, the first thing that I would suggest you to do is uh, to just double check that all ge the geometries are okay. You can double click inside and you can see over here each single component. Um, also, uh, there will be some of the geometries that will need to be engraved, but if you don't necessarily need them, need them you can just uh, remove them. For example, I don't want this to be engraved. I also don't want the cube to be engraved. Um, I also don't want this to be engraved, okay? So that's uh, what I want. Um, so, very simple. You should already know by now. I, I will actually do Control A since this is all of the geometries in my project. Uh, so I'll first go, they're supposed to be paths already, but let's do it. Object to path, then go to over, over extension laser uh, give it a name box and then give it apply now let's go over to Nege Master it's clear 
of what I was working on. Okay, so load gcode.nc file. Now we can click we can click laser engraving. Pro uh nope, oh, nope, nope. Here we go. Box. Open it up. Your file is going to be resized. I'm not sure why, but yeah, this the native application from NJ is constantly resizing your projects. Uh, however, I found that uh, if you work with CAD and you uh, try to import the .dxf file, the .dxf file will be will retain the dimension. If this uh, it's uh, smaller than the actual working area. Okay, let's now uh, set the size. I just want this to be uh, 200. Yeah, something like this is supposed to be okay. Once you're okay, set up your parameter. You know, you can put the power all the way up since we are cutting. 10 millisecond. We can then center the engraver. And once we are ready, we can just give it a play and we are good to go. All right, and now, no excuses if you have lack of ideas. You can see many projects, you can have, you can redesign some of the ideas, you can download some of the projects, and also the other interesting thing about it is that you can have a look to how the projects were made, for example, interlocking components and assembly parts. Uh, so you can basically learn on how 
to design your own project. And this is pretty much all. I hope you found the video helpful. If you liked it, click the thumb up button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Ciao for now!